Hello and welcome to the first lessons of the data scientist toolbox which is the first course in the data science specialization series. Here we will be going over the basics of data science and introducing you to the, to the tools that uh, will be used throughout the series. One of the main skills you are going to be called upon uh, as for a data scientist is your ability to solve problems and sometimes to do that you need help. The ability to solve problems is at the root of data science, so the importance of being able to do so is paramount. In the first lesson, we are going to equip you with some strategies to help you when you get stuck with a problem and need some help. Much of this information has been compiled from Roger Pang's video on getting help and Eric Raymond's uh, how to ask questions the smart way. Link to these videos will be provided in our today's blog post. So why is knowing how to get uh, help important? First off, this course is not like a standard class you have taken before where there may be 30 to 100 people and you have access to your professor for immediate help. In this class at any one time there can be thousands of students taking the, taking the class. No one person could provide help to all of these people all of the time. So we will introduce you to some strategies to deal with getting help in this course. Also as we said earlier uh, being able to solve problems is often one of the core skills of a data scientist. Data science is new. You may be the first person to come across a specific problem and you need to be equipped with skills that allow you to tackle problems that are both new to you, to you and to your community. Finally, troubleshooting and figuring out solutions to problems is a great transferable skill. It will serve you well as a data scientist, but so much of what any job often entails is problem solving. So uh, being able to think about problems and uh, get help effectively is of benefit to you in whatever career path you find yourself in. Before you ask for help, uh, before you begin asking others for help on your problems, there are a few steps that you can take on your own. One of your first stops for data analysis problems should be reading the manuals or help files. For our problems, try typing question mark command. If you post a question on a forum that is easily answered by the manual, you will often get a reply of read the manual, which is not the easiest way to get at the answer you were going for. Steps are searching on Google and searching relative forums. Common forums for data science problems include Stack Overflow and Cross Validated. Additionally, you can ask questions on our social media platforms or ask in the comments below. I'll try to answer uh, them all, but before asking in comment, don't forget to check if same question has been answered before. While you are googling, Things to pay attention to uh, and look for are tutorials, facts, or vignettes. Of whatever command or problem is giving you trouble, these are great resources to get you started either in telling you the language or words to use in your next searches or outright showing you how to do something. Uh, as you get further in this course and using R, you may run into coding problems and errors and there are a few strategies you should have ready to deal with these. In my experience coding problems uh, generally fall into two categories. Your command, pro uh, your command produces no data and uh, spits out an error message or your command produces an output but it is not what at all uh, what you wanted. These two problems have different strategies for dealing with them. If it's a problem producing an error message, check for typos. Read the error message and make sure you understand it. Google the error message exactly. I have been there. You type out a command and all you get are lines and lines of angry and red text uh, telling you that you did something wrong. And this can be overwhelming, but taking a second to check over your command for typos and then carefully reading the error message solves the problem in nearly all of, a, all of the cases. The error messages are there to help you. It is the computer telling you what went wrong. 
and when all else fails you can be pretty assured that somebody out there got the same error message panicked and posted it to a forum so the answer is out there and if you get an output but it uh, isn't what you expected consider how uh, the output was different uh, from what you expected think about what it looks like uh, the command actually uh, did why it would do that and not uh, what you wanted most problems like this are because the command uh, you provided told the program to do one thing and it did that thing exactly it just turns out uh, what you told it to do wasn't actually what you wanted these problems are often the most frustrating you are so close but so far the the quickest way to figuring out what went wrong is looking out, uh, at the output you did get comparing it to what you wanted and thinking about how the program may have produced uh, that output instead of what you wanted uh, these sorts of problems give you plenty of practice thinking like a computer program all right you have done everything you are supposed to do to solve the problem on your own now you need to bring in the big guns it's just uh, is to find a peer with some experience with uh, what you are working on and ask them for help or direction this is a often um, this is often great because the person explaining gets to solidify their understanding while teaching it to you and you get a, a hands on uh, experience seeing how they would solve the problem in this class uh, your peers and uh, that can be your classmates and me and you can interact with them through the uh, comments below of course double check that your question hasn't been asked already but outside of this course you may not have uh, too many data science savvy peers what then rubber duck debugging which is a long held tradition of solitary programmers everywhere in the book the uh, pragmatic programmer there's a story of how uh, stumped programmers would explain their problem to a rubber duck and in the process of explaining the problem they identified the solution trust me this trick really works because i do this a lot wikipedia explains it well many programmers have had the experience of explaining a programming problem to someone else possibly even to someone who knows nothing about programming and then hit and, and then hitting upon the solution in the process of explaining the problem and describing what the code is supposed to do and observing what it actually does any incongruity uh, between these two becomes apparent so next time you are stumped bring out the bar twice now you have done your best you have searched and searched you have talked with peers you have done everything possible to figure it out on your own and you are still stuck it's time time to post your question to a relative forum before you go ahead and just post a, uh, your question you need to consider uh, how you can best ask your question to garner helpful answers here are the ways uh, how to effectively ask questions on forums and uh, details to include the question you are trying to answer how you approach the problem what steps uh, you have already taken to answer the question what steps will um, reproduce the problem including sample data for troubleshooters to work from what was the expected output what you saw instead including any error messages you received what troubleshooting steps you have already tried details about uh, your setup for example what operating system you are using what version of the product you have installed for example r r packages and finally be specific in the title of your question now uh, how to title for posts most of these details are self uh, explanatory but there can be uh, an art to titling your posting without being specific you don't give your potential helpers a lot to go off of they don't really know uh, what the problem is and whether if they are able to help you bad titles would be help can't find linear model or help don't understand pcf 
these titles don't give your potential helpers a lot to go off of they don't really know what the problem is and if they are able to help you instead you need to provide some details about what you are having problems with answering uh, what you were doing and what the problem is answering what uh, you were doing and what the problem is are two key pieces of information that you need to provide this way somebody who is on the forum will know exactly will know exactly what is happening and that they might be able to help better titles uh, would be r3.4.3 lm function produces uh, seg fault with large data frame windows 10 or uh, applied pca to a matrix uh, what are u d and v d even better titles would be uh, r3.4.3 lm function on windows 10 seg fault uh, on large data frame using principal uh, components to discover common variation in rows of a matrix should i use u d or vt use titles that focus on very specific to the core problem that you are trying to get help with it signals to people that uh, you are looking for a very specific answer the more specific the question often the faster the answer so uh, for etiquettes Following a lot of the tips above uh, will serve you well in posting on forums and observing forum etiquette. You are asking for help. You are hoping somebody else uh, will take a, will take time out of their day to help you. You need to be courteous. Often this takes the form of asking specific questions, doing some troubleshooting of your own, and giving potential problem solvers easy access to all the information they need to help you. Formalizing some of these do's and don'ts, uh, you get the following list. Uh, do's are read the forum posting um, guidelines. Make sure you are asking your question on an appropriate forum. Describe the goal. Be explicit and uh, detailed in your explanation. Provide the minimum information required to describe and replicate the problem. Be courteous uh, by adding please and thank you. Follow up on the post or post the solution. Let's take a few seconds to talk a bit about this last point. As we have touched on the others already. First, uh, what do we mean by follow up on the post? Now you have asked your question and you have received several answers and uh, behold one of them works. You are all set, get back to work. No, this isn't the way. Go back to your posting. Reply to the solution what worked for you explaining that they fixed your problem and thanking them for their solution. Not only uh, do the people helping you deserve thanks, but this is helpful to anybody else who has the same problem as you later on. They are going to do uh, their due diligence, search the forum and find your post. It is so helpful for you to have flagged the answer that solved your problem. Conversely, while you are waiting for a reply, perhaps you stumble upon the solution. Don't just close the posting and never check back on it. One, uh, people who are trying to help you may be replying to you and uh, you are uh, functionally and you are functionally ignoring them or uh, two, uh, if you close it with no solution, Somebody with the same problem uh, won't ever learn what your solution was. Make sure to post the solution and uh, thank everybody for their help. Don'ts would look like uh, immediately assume you have found a bug. Post homework questions. Cross post on multiple forums. Repost uh, if you don't immediately get a response. These are all pretty clear guidelines. Nobody wants to help somebody uh, who assumes that the root cause of the problem isn't because they have made a mistake, but that there is something wrong with the program. Spoiler alert, it's almost uh, always because you made a mistake. Similarly, nobody wants to uh, do your homework for you. They want to help somebody who is genuinely trying to learn, not find a, a shortcut. Additionally, for people who are uh, active on multiple forums, it is always aggravating when the same person posts the same question on five different forums 
or when the same question is posted on the same forum repeatedly. Be patient, pick the most relevant forum for your purposes, post once and wait. So to summarize what you have learned in this lesson, in this lesson we look at how to effectively get help when you run into a problem. This is important for this course but also for your future as a data scientist. We first looked at strategies to use before asking for help, including reading the manual, checking the help files and searching uh, Google and appropriate forums. We also covered some common coding problems you may face and, and some preliminary steps you can take on your own, including paying special attention to error messages and examining how your code behaved compared to your goal. Once you have exhausted these options, we turn to other people for help. We can ask peers for help or explain our problems to our trusty rubber ducks, be it an actual rubber duck or an unsuspecting coworker. Our course forum is uh, also a great resource for you all to talk with many of your peers. Uh, so go introduce yourself. And if all else fails, we can post on forums, be it in this class uh, or, at, uh, or at another forum like Stack Overflow with very specific reproducible questions. Before doing so, be sure to brush up on your forum etiquette. It never hurt uh, anybody to be polite. Be a good citizen of our forums. There is an art to problem solving and the only way to get practice is to get out there and start solving problems. So get to it.